man. This is going to be close. Oh! Hold on now. This thing is Choice Scarf. Oh! Okay. Wait a minute. What? He has Mimikyu still! Oh my god, I'm an idiot! I forgot! Alright, Snorlax. You ready to get this dub, baby? Yes or no? Let me know if you're ready to get this dub. He's walking towards like he wants that dub. So what is up, guys? Welcome back to yet another live Pokemon Sword Stream Wi-Fi Battle. How you guys doing today? Today, we're going to be hopping into battle number four with the same team that we've been using. We're going to go ahead and hop into five with this first competitive team that I did build in Sword Shield. I don't want to keep my guy waiting too long. Like I said, I've already kept him on hold for like a little bit. So we're going to go ahead and set up a quick. Like I said, if you guys are hyped for today's Wi-Fi Battle and you're ready for some content on your time, let's go ahead and be sure to drop a like for me as it is greatly appreciated. If we do hit five likes, I'm going to go ahead and upload the next Wi-Fi Battle as soon as we hit that like goal. Like I said, you guys have been killing with the support lately we're already three wi-fi battles deep which is insane uh like i said if you guys are brand new to the channel make sure you guys hit the subscribe button as well and hit that bell so you're always part of the notification squad like i said my name is cypher aka cypher blocker aka hunter you can call me anything you want just don't call me late for a battle like today like i said i'm gonna be hopping into another live wi-fi battle which is pretty dope um also do you have a question of the day which is going to be who is your least favorite gigantamax pokemon mine honestly if i really had to sit here and tell you Mine, honestly, is Corviknight. I really don't like Corviknight. The only reason why is it looks exact same. But let me know you guys in the... I don't know. It looks the same as, like, the original. I don't know. Maybe... Are you guys feel that way? I don't know. Maybe you do or not. Let me know in the comments below if you guys do. And without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and jump into this battle with my man. Uh, be sure to drop anything in the comments room below. Without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and look for my man because I'm kind of in a rush there a little bit. So, without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and check in with him real quick and I will see you guys there in a second. Alright guys, so we did find our Wi-Fi battle. We're going to be battling Incubus today, as you guys saw on your screen just a moment, a second ago. It is someone that I found on my Discord. If he does have any links, I will leave them in the description below. Like I said, um, and I'm ready for this Wi-Fi battle. So today we're actually going to be battling Crimson69 on Discord, so that's going to be really pretty lit. So let's go ahead and go over the team real quick that we are bringing today. So today, as you can see on your screen, uh, don't look at that team on the left. You're not supposed to look at that. Okay, uh, I totally forgot to look at the team. Oh, here we go. Alright, so today we have Dragapult, aka F22 Raptor, holding the life orb. We have Alchemy, aka Cool Whip, holding the leftovers. We have Inteleon, aka Bubble 07, holding the choice specs. We have Arcanine, aka Bango, holding the heavy duty boots. We have Excadrill, holding the focus sash. And we have Rollo Tubbs, aka Eldegoss, holding the throat spray. Like I said, that one, not my best move set on that thing. So, like I said, we're going to go ahead and pick this team and we're going to jump into the battle with my man, uh, Crimson, aka uh, Incubus. Uh, What's some music? I think I don't think we've used the max raid battle yet. Yeah, I don't think we've used max raid battle yet. So let's go ahead and go with that. Uh, Crimson, aka Incubus, GLHF. If you are watching this, and without further ado, let's go ahead and look who my man has. We gotta grab our handy dandy phone so we can snag a picture of who we want to get. Uh, so today, my man's is bringing a O. Oh, this is straight OU meta team. So today, my man is bringing a. Oh. Dude, Eldegoss is looking promising in this match. For once, Eldegoss is actually looking promising. So today he has a Gastrodon, a Corviknight, an Excadrill, a Rotom Wash, a Mimikyu, and a Gyarados. Ah, I have no idea who I want to lead at all, to be honest. Okay, so if I had to get a lead off, I think I want to go Excadrill, same as I always do. Um, the good thing is, is we're going to definitely want to get f22 raptor against the mimic you only reason i say that is because we have infiltrator which i believe will go through his ability i'm pretty sure um but yeah i feel like excadrill will definitely be the play for us i think he might lead all his own excadrill which wouldn't be a bad situation i feel like i battled this team already which is really weird i don't know why i think it's a rental team if i'm looking at it i really feel like it's a rental team i'm not too sure but uh yeah I'm pretty excited for today. Pretty excited for this Wi-Fi battle. Oh, my man has the 69 close-up card, bro. My card is lit, bro. We got the Gigantamax Pokemon in the background. Pretty lit. All right. Let's see what my man has. Rotom. Not bad. Okay. So kind of predicted a little bit. 
Um, either way, I think rocks up are going to be huge. Oh, I don't have Mold Breaker. Of course I don't have Mold Breaker. Of course. Well, he doesn't have anything to magic bounce these rocks. Let's go ahead and stealth rock. Get these rocks up. Uh, so he is going to Willow us. That's very unfortunate because now, now he's very useless. He is very useless. Oh, that really blows, but it's whatever. I think, no, it must be a random stadium. I think it's weird because, like, whatever stadium, like, whatever music you pick is what stadium you go to, but I don't quote me that for sure. All right, um, I feel like my play here is to honestly just go ahead and rock slide. That's the only thing I really see that I can do. Uh, I definitely don't want to Dynamax. We're going to click away from that. But yeah, I really feel like, honestly, if I had to do something here, it was, should be just go for the rock slide. I really could not care about this thing right now, especially especially being burnt. Uh, he's actually going to switch. Gyarados. Okay, so this is actually going to do some decent damage because it is neutral. Oh, is this thing going to set up Dragon Dances? Oh, uh, okay. So, <laughs> it ain't going to do squat and it misses. Okay. Okay, buddy. That's great. Um, and that's the thing is I have nothing to take on a Gyarados. Wow. Okay. Um, <laughs> yo, I have nothing to take on a Gyarados at all. Okay, cool. Thank God. All right. So I didn't have Dragon Dance, thankfully. Uh, just take me out of my misery, please. <laughs> take me out of my misery. Um, my question here is what do I want to go into? I don't have anything that can take this thing on, which is like the worst part of this all. Um, could this be a Dynamax Mon, honestly? Yeah. I just don't, I don't have anything that can really even touch this thing. Um, if I had to go into something, I feel like Cool Whip would be my option, but Uh, yeah, I guess we're going to have to go into Cool Whip. We're going to have to go into Cool Whip. That's the only thing I can really see us doing, honestly. And if I had to say, I'd probably want to go into G-Max form and get some damage off with uh, Dazzling Gleam. The good thing is we found out last Wi-Fi battle that if he has Iron Head on his, um, on his Excadrill, we can actually live being a the nature that we are and if he's an adamant nature we could have the chance to do 91 percent but no more effect so we're gonna get up some uh some damage i don't think this thing has a steel type move or a poison type move i doubt it um he's just gonna go ahead and earthquake uh it's not gonna do too much to us the good thing is we're actually gonna g max finale and get some uh get some health back from this nice that's some good damage right there definitely some good damage now, my question is, is he going to sack this thing off? Because I could really, really, really feel it in my gut for him to go into Excadrill. Actually, it doesn't matter if he goes into Excadrill, honestly. Um, because either way, we already found out that we're living. So he is going to waterfall us. Uh, it's going to do a little less than Earthquake, but that's fine. Uh, hopefully, he send in Excadrill. If he can send in Excadrill for me, that would just be That would be perfect. I'm gonna go ahead and just hope that you send an extra drill. And the good thing is, is if he uh, if he sends an extra drill and it's not holding the heavy duty boots, we can actually get that focus sash broken if it is holding one. But we'll find out here. We will find out. So Gyarados is gone. That was a huge Dynamax threat. So I feel like his Dynamax mod, if he really has one, is Mimikyu. I feel like Mimikyu would be a, a Dynamax mod for him. Okay, so we did break the, uh, the focus sash if there was intact one. I'm actually just gonna go ahead and max flare this thing. Um, okay, so this thing is Dynamax. So, as I said, I thought Mimikyu is Dynamax. So, he does have Dynamax. Does that hurt me? Um, I don't know if that hurts me now. <laughs> now I don't know if I can actually take a Steel type move. Okay, so he's actually going to max Rockfall.
Okay. I really would have thought this thing had Iron Head. I really would have thought this thing had Iron Head. Okay, so this thing is very defensive, it looks like. Alright, so the good thing is the, the heat's out harsh. Um, I guess I want... Do I want to save Alchemy, though? I feel like I can save Alchemy, but, like, I don't want to... What can I send in that would even touch... That would touch this thing? I don't have Intimidate on Arcanine either. I don't really want to sack anything. Cause I gotta save Eldegoss for that dang, uh, that, that stupid Gastrodon. So I guess let's just stay in and we'll Mystical Fire if we get the chance. Okay, so he does have the Steel Spike, so maybe he was just trying to break. He was trying to bluff. Good bluff, man. Good bluff. Good bluff. And the defense rose, which really sucks on this thing. Well, the good thing is, is we can actually send in... Ah, uh, no. I don't want to send you in. Actually, we can switch out because I don't feel like he's going to switch out, especially if he's Dynamax. We actually can get a snipe shot off on something. Like, I don't want a snipe shot. And that's thing, if he sends in, if he sends in Gastrodon, it's not the end of the world. So let's go ahead and spec snipe shot this thing. Okay, so now he's gonna lose his Dynamaxing, which is fine. Cause I feel like he's gonna make the switch now. Now I feel like he's gonna make the switch. So let's predict the switch. We'll go into Rollo Tubs. And hopefully he goes into Gastrodon. He's either gonna go into Gastrodon or Rotom Wash. That's for a fact. Gastrodon, perfect. All right, so we, we predicted the switch, luckily. Mm. So I guess my thing is, is do I do I hyper voice here and get the plus one, or do I just like kind of let it go? Let's get the plus one. Yeah, he's he's gonna switch. I imagine he's gonna go into mimic you or Corv. Yeah, Corvinite's I guess a fine switch. I feel like we're going to be in the same situation, which I don't know if I upload this or not. I can't remember all my Wi-Fi battles. Oh, yeah, I did upload because I made the intro for it. But, like, when we had to get the crit onto the, uh, when we had to get the crit on the, on the Corviknight from Iron Defense. That's right. All right, so this is going to be very bulky and very annoying. I can already tell. So, you know what? Let's make the switch. Go into F-22 Raptor. Or F-22 Raptor. This is an F-20. I'm not going in Dragapult. Let's go into Arcanine. Let's see what kind of plays we can make here. Iron Defense. I knew it. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, this thing's going to be annoying. This thing's going to be mad annoying. Uh, and that's the thing is we need this thing for extra. Well, I guess we don't need it for extra drill, but it would be nice to have. So let's go ahead and Flare Blitz this thing. Um... He's probably going to stay in. I imagine he's going to stay in. The question is, is can he do anything to me? I feel like if he makes a switch, it would be better. Because we can just keep getting residual stealth dock damage. Perfect. Alright, so we can actually tell if this thing's physically defensive here in a minute. If not, it's probably not physically defensive. Mm. Yeah. Ah. Oh. I guess my question is, do I stay in? I feel like I kind of want to go into F-22 Raptor. Or do I close combat? Because I don't see him going for a Scald. And if I do see him going for a Scald, I don't see it taking us out. You know what? I'm going to play. I'm going to make the play. Predicting. Predicting. Is it gonna recover here? Oh, well, that might take me out. That might take me out. Ah, uh, yeah, I think it's gonna take me out. Yeah, I knew it. Uh, I shouldn't have made that play. I messed up. Over predicting. 
is not fun. Alright, you know what? You know what? Let's go ahead and we will dragon dance. Or do we dragon darts? Do we dragon darts here? Hmm. Let's dragon dance here. Yeah, let's, let's dragon dance. If he goes into Mimikyu, that's fine, actually. Um, because Mimikyu... Oh, wait. Does, does that go behind subs? I don't think that goes behind... Uh, it doesn't matter about abilities. I don't think that matters about abilities now that I think about it. Uh, now that I think about that, I don't think it matters about abilities. Let's... Let's check. I don't... Uh, I think I goofed. <laughs> I think I think Mold Breaker is the one that doesn't care about abilities. Yeah, and then what does Infiltrator substitute and Fold Reflect Light Screen set? Okay, yeah. So what I was thinking was not right. <laughs> Um, will this thing take me out with the play rough? I think I goofed. Uh, do I feel like he's in a swords dance? I mean, either way, I got a sucker punch this thing. Yeah, I yeah I knew that one. I knew that one. Now do I Phantom Force? Or do I, just, I gotta go for the Phantom Force. Hopefully he predicts the. Hopefully he thinks I'm gonna go for the Sucker Punch. Okay, actually that's that's cool. I'm cool with that. I'm actually cool with that. Actually, I don't know if I'm cool with that. Cause now he gets a free Now he gets a free iron defense off. Which sucks. Ah, uh, now he gets a free Yeah, now he gets a free uh, a free iron defense off. And I don't see this I don't see this really Oh. Ah, uh, yeah, it's gonna take me down, which is fine. Because now now we can actually go into I think we can actually go into Inteleon and actually start messing stuff up with Shadow Balls let's Shadow Ball here choice specs it should do a lot of damage to stuff Yeah, as as we thought. Uh, the question is if he if he sends in Rotom here, that's going to be kind of a big problem. Uh, but the good thing is, and what sucks though is we really need to save. All right, so there's a positive to this: is if we're looking at Rotom Wash, we wall Rotom Wash completely with our Eldegoss because we're especially defensive, which is good. Um, we're going to take some damage off on this thing, but I need to preserve this thing. So let's send in Rollo Tubs. We have, we have, we have Ace. Oh wait, actually we're good because if we kill Corviknight and we kill Gyarados, Giga Drains are actually going to be our best friend here, which is fine. Um, the thing is, is what he's going to go into is going to matter big time. Oh my gosh, it's like, as soon as like I hit, it's like, it's like every Wi-Fi battle has like dramatically gotten harder. Uh, so that's cool. Um, let's go ahead and Giga Drain this thing. Uh, even if this thing wants to Ice Beam us, A, we're especially defensive, and B, we're sitting pretty good. And we're going to outspeed this thing, which is good.
And the thing is, the best part of this is, is that Rotom's going to keep taking um, residual damage now. So now does he go into the Excadrill? Is the question. All right, so extra is going to come. He's going to take some residual damage. Uh, I don't see what this thing can touch me with. I got to calc it now. Hold up, baby. Hold up, baby. I feel like I got to switch, though, because, like, I feel... All right, so extra drill. Let's go focus sash. OU, level fifty. Let's go Inteleon. Uh, he is two fifty two. Two fifty two. Modest nature. At level fifty. Okay, so this thing is. It has a chance to Oko me with earthquake. So let's. Let's Giga Drain. Let's see how much damage we can get off on this thing. Iron Head. That's fine. If he goes... Oh, please don't get the flinch. Okay. Please don't get the flinch twice. Come on. Come on. Come on, Rollo Tubbs. You need this. All right. Perfect. All right. So, predicting him to go... Predicting for him to go for Iron Head. If we switch into 007, we're fine. All right, three minutes left. All right, come on. We got to rush this bit. We got to rush it. Let's go. Let's go. Iron Head, perfect. All right, I think we just solidified the battle for each other. I think we just, I think we just did. Uh... Rotom Wash. Let's go defensive at level 50. Snipe Shot's not doing anything at all. Let's go Shadow Ball, I guess. Alright, let's go Shadow Ball. Let's see if we can get some residual damage off on this thing. Or let's... I don't know how much damage we're going to do on the Rotom. That's the worst part. Choice Specs is doing 38.8. Oh, man. This is going to be close. Oh! Hold on now. This thing is Choice Scarf. Oh! Okay. Wait a minute. What? Mimikyu still! Oh my god, I'm an idiot! I forgot! I forgot he had Mimikyu still! Oh my gosh, I for completely forgot! I was like, how is he switching out? I totally forgot about Mimikyu! I totally forgot about Mimikyu. All right, we're gonna have to hope Giga Drains can take this thing out or keep us alive. A choice scarfed Rotom Wash. That's crazy. Oh, is that a crit? No, that's not a crit. Oh my God, dude, GG's. I can't believe I forgot about Mimikyu, man. Either way, that was a great game. Honestly, I felt like this team really put up a fight against like a really meta OU team. So, uh, Incubus, a.k.a. My Boy Crimson, great game, dude, if you're watching this, man. That was insane, actually. I totally forgot about... Oh, I totally forgot about the Mimikyu. Oh, my gosh, man. I'm so hurt by that. 
I don't know. If you guys enjoyed today's live Wi-Fi battle, make sure you go ahead and drop a like on today's videos. It is greatly appreciated. Like I said, if this video does get five likes, I'm going to go ahead and drop another one as soon as we hit that goal. You guys have been killing it with the support lately. Um, if my boy has any links, I'll leave them in the description below. Go give him a follow or go check him out, whatever he has. And without further ado, like I said, if you guys are brand new to the channel, like I said, my name is Cypher, a.k.a. Cypher Block, a.k.a. Hunter. You can call me anything you want. Just don't call me late for a battle. And like I said, if you guys are brand new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button if you are brand new. And uh, make sure you hit that bell so you're always notified when I upload. And more importantly, we're going to be hopping into one more Wi-Fi battle, and then we're going to go ahead and pick up our next team. This next team that I have is Fire, so I am really excited. So without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and get the recording of the next one. So please have yourself a great morning, night, evening, day, wherever you're at, and I'll talk to you guys later. Thank you for watching. What is Crankos? See you.